Montpellier came into this match against Dijon on the back of four consecutive draws and just three goals in those matches. Dijon's form was only slightly better, one win and three draws in their last four outings. Olivier Dallolio's recent results had brought his team a comfortable distance from the drop zone. Kickoff given by the home side. With the home manager watching on. It was Montpellier who started brightest. With Dully hitting the post in the early exchanges of the match. Dijon, however, kept at it. Julio Tavares with a brilliant layup. Ball into Wesley Said. And an eighth strike of the season for him. The former Rennes striker. Also performing brilliantly this season. 1-0 for the visitors at half time. A little bit of a flat match. As showed by the excitement in the crowd. Dalolio looking on. Montpellier in the second half. Came out guns blazing. Knowing they needed to claw their way back into the match. Reyne with a save. Pull back to Skiri though. And look at this for a strike. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. It's a lot of good work. Mamingia keeps his wits about him. Pulls the ball back. Skiri's a long way out, but he buries that one. Still Dijon, however... Coming forwards. A loss of the ball. Sent Giovanni Sio on his way. The Montpellier man burying the ball. It's a brilliant strike. Dijon responded. Julio Tavares at the back post, hitting the post. Camp Verde striker who's been in terrific form, but then in the 91st minute, Rainer comes out, surges out, and launches his team's deadly counter attack. Brilliant move. The ball pulled back to the back post, and who's there? But Wesley's side, who gets his brace in the match, an equalising goal in the 91st minute. Side's ninth of the season. A brilliant game all round in the south of France. A point apiece, the logical result after a hard-fought match. Both teams remain in the top ten of the standings.